There you go. Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's so beautiful. Tiny is uh doing doing stuff, and we are in the next part, which we're not 100% sure if we're gonna do worlds three and four with both characters or not, or both teams or not. Uh, I predict not because this world is particularly hard for relics. So yeah, um, we're starting with one of the hardest in the game. Actually, debatably for me, the hardest in the game. I did not go in the right place. Yeah, you went to Vito said, oh well, you, you can go to... Yeah, yeah, this is a hub, here. so it's like whatever. Phenomena is what's called, not Vinomina. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can see the game, right? Yeah. Totally forgot. Because I know at first the screen share was being a little wonky. So yeah, out of time is first, right? If we're going in order? Mm -hmm. Yep. Thunderstruck is last, if I remember correctly. It is. Thankfully. Alright, Relic Race. Uh, who? Okay. I'm not too concerned. Actually, I'm concerned about literally everything in this one. Um, uh, the platinum time is a minute 55. The Relic Race here, I could be alone, or maybe it was just a fluke. I swear, it's. The, the boxes are placed relatively evilly. The, the time is, like, pretty damn strict, if memory serves. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's just literally everything bad in one. So, there was one of the cruelly placed boxes. It's behind one of the ramps. Um, I'm Which, pretty I mean, sure. if you're taking that shortcut, you should not have any issues with it. Uh, I wouldn't get it on the shortcut, actually. I won't end the run there just because I want to show you guys how hard it kind of is. Or how, like, little room of error. So, okay, this this is the stage where I can start talking about a few things. Um, specifically, um, this... Okay, I'm restarting now. Uh, this track, and I think one other... I, I don't remember if it's in this world. I, I don't even remember the track offhand, unfortunately. I think I remember once I actually get there. Oh, it's Thundershock, actually. Um... <laughs> It has um, a lot of crates you can get in one lap if you really want to, but honestly, I missed it. Wow. Recommended you need you should spread out when you get those crates because you're gonna slow yourself down to get a whole. There are a lot of one crates, um, and it's just not worth it. Uh, it's near the end of the level. I'll just show you guys, or rather, I'll tell you guys where it's at. That it's particularly hard. Um, I'll accept missing that, but I won't accept missing that. Um. Uh, yeah, I this, guess it's over by the windmill. This one's no, it's actually directly after the windmill. Oh, I think the windmill would be the hard. We're not directly part. after it, but oh wait, no, it's directly before it. Sorry, I was thinking of the big clock when you said windmill. Wait, directly before it is a linear path and very oh, tight and everything. Eh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of boxes there. You think that would be really easy because it's. You would, but every time I've collected every box in one lap, it seems to screw me over, and I don't know why. Um, so yeah, hopefully... Also, I'm playing as Cortex, so my turning, unfortunately, isn't the greatest. I'm still confused on why they didn't give Cortex some of the like, most balanced turning in the game. But alas, here we are. There's some really hard, like, hard ones. Like, this one's at the way corner, and it's kind of, like, awkward to hit, especially in a drift. That one's also really awkward to hit, especially in a drift. Um, and here is where there's all the crates. I would not advise getting them all in one run. Maybe yeah, in I two laps. Yeah, yeah. This can be a little finicky. Okay, we got that. Um, I have to turn around and grab that because it's really awkward to get it otherwise. Ah, that's the main uh, word I would use to describe a lot of things in this stage. Awkward. In terms of grabbing. Fine. Um, I do actually think this is a pretty good stage, though, overall. This is, like, the signature stage of the game. So. Yeah, like, when people think about this game, there's three levels that usually come to mind. And it's... Please don't tell me one of them is hyperspace. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I think people remember it for reasons they would rather not remember it for. I mean, I think it's a pretty memorable stage. It's funny, because I actually it think it... I, I was telling him earlier, I think it's actually probably one of my favorite stages. Yeah, it is, it's just... It has some of the not-so-good reasons, too. Yep. 
then of course the third one would be Electron Avenue. Yeah, even I know Electron Avenue. That's a good stage, I think, overall. I, I, I'm i gonna be a little sad once I have to see how they changed it, because... It didn't actually change that much of it, surprisingly. Well, there's no anti crap though. That's weird. Well, yeah, but it's just on a straight path. That, that seems really underwhelming, but it's probably more of you just describing it a little yeah, it's, worse. Yeah, it's like, it's... But from what I saw of it, because that's before I stopped watching anything related to the game, what it was... Uh, you said it was 140, right? Or was it 145? It was 155. Oh, 155. Okay. I'm actually glad that I was wrong, so I was like, this is already getting scary close. It still is scary close. Yeah, like, don't. you've got 30 seconds assuming you get all the boxes. Yeah, don't don't get me wrong, guys. It's kind of scary. I also kind of screwed up in one of the earlier sections, which is suck. Yeah. And you have to slow down at the windmill, I remember that. Yep. Yeah, see, I have all the crates, so now I have to beat it in how many seconds? 205. 205? Am I gonna get it? No way! I had so many issues with this! Well, it's, it's LPR's curse. That's LPR's curse. Literally, the hard stuff becomes easier, and the easier stuff becomes harder. Oh, yeah. Well, you still have to do it Team Bandicoot, so. Oh, that's true. That's true. Maybe that will redeem it in terms of why well, I think it's hard. Literally, this took almost three times less time than freaking what's it called? Uh, the Inferno Island. Yeah, the Inferno Island as Team Bandicoot. Or Cortex, because Cortex took a while too. Yeah, probably around the same time. Maybe a little less, if I had to guess. Ah, yes! you want a relic? <laughs> there you go, Mr. Krabs. I hear the Uka Uka in. <laughs> I hear the Uka Uka in him, but I also hear his Mr. Krabs coming out, and I love it. Clockwork Wumpa. So this one has a really existed that too. This one has a really truly placed uh, what's it called crate, and I'll be getting it lap two. This one also. Why not lap one. No, I'm gonna get it lap two because I want to get the gear shortcut out of the way. Oh, uh, is that even worse? Um, no, Gear Shortcut luckily is actually pretty straightforward. Um, this one I originally rated as being hard, but I don't think it's gonna be nearly as bad. This one they definitely expect you to break, like do a little break and stop like that. Because this one has the 90 degree turns, um, and there are a lot of <laughs> three crates and just crates that are on those. I like to hit them as early as possible, as I've stated before. Uh, just because they are kind of the annoying ones to get. So if you get the annoying ones out of the way, then uh, what's it called? Um, you can try to focus on just being fast in every one. This is definitely the hardest uh, three or crate on the, of those three jumps. Uh, this three crates kind of picky too. Yeah, this one has some pretty like gnarly looking crates. Honestly, this one I would feel like is more like visually and hell even if you think about it it's, it seems bad but it's not as bad this these crates are actually really easy um that crate that i just got in the air um i'm very surprised i got that first time around because i have had a very nasty habit of missing it numerous times i usually get those three on one uh, in one uh, go well, might as well you already stopped well i did that on purpose because those three are kind of like annoying especially the one that's on the corner which for the record there shouldn't be a one on the corner there, because that corner is really fucking hard to hit. Um, but yeah. Alright, so now we're going to get the stupid uh, crate. So, I like to... Oh, well, there goes your run. Maybe. I'm going to keep going just to see if I can yes. still do it. Um, but I did... I didn't get to get the stupid crate. I almost overjumped that, and I've never overjumped any of those crates. Which, no, I didn't, didn't in I retrospect, is something I should say. Two minutes? Yeah. This is another one of those ones where... Well, actually, this is honestly for most time trials in these games, is at the beginning, or like, if you look at your time right now, you'll think you're... Uh... Yeah, that's... I, I don't know why Ukuka felt... But... Anyways, as I was saying, on the first lap, um, you're gonna have a nice time. The second lap, it's gonna look like you have to, after the first lap, you might have like 
20 seconds on the clock depending on the race and then by the time you're lap three suddenly 20 seconds turns to like three like 30 minutes because that's just how time oh, yeah. works especially yeah, if you get all you're the you're gonna get all threes on your first lap yeah but i think it doesn't really matter too much in the end and if anything it might stress you out more if you know the times yeah there's definitely a little jump right there to help you Make sure, like, oh, to make yeah. sure you get on the gear. I wish they did this for more shortcuts, and they probably subtly do, but that one is the only one that I can see straight up that they definitely do. That was an accident. <laughs> I'm not even sure why they leave that box in the level. Because they that hate humans. Yes. I thought Cortex said, Woo! That felt good! But he said that did not feel good when he, when he <laughs> oh, hit the wall. <laughs> I thought he was going to tell you about how you used the masochist. Yeah, I was about to say, interesting, Cortex. Didn't think you would be like Until that. Until you were into that kind of thing. Well, you know. I learned something new every day. Evil, evil scientist is evil, I, I guess. <laughs> and again, I'm getting these ones uh, that are in the air just because getting the harder ones out of the way first just makes it much easier for you to... Deal with other laps as usual. That way you're also not stressed on the third lap. If you miss one, you don't think it's you don't think the run is over. Alright, All right, so where's this cruelly placed so box? So this cruelly placed box, at least I think it's cruel, is it's, <laughs> it's this one right here. Oh uh, yeah, that's mean. I, it's a one. I won this race twice, and I was missing one crate every time, and I was really confused, so I had to explore it, and that was that was one of the spots I was thinking when I was going around this level, because I was trying to figure out, like, where could it possibly be? And that was, like, the only spot that seemed like it <laughs> it could have been it. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I figured that out really early on. Otherwise, I would have been doing this race, like, more times than I ever would have wished for. I feel like this... Maybe it's just me and I just remember it, but I feel like this stage is kind of iconic to me in this game. I don't know. Like, it was the first stage they showed off in Ico Fuel. That was CNK. And I, Although uh, they showed off Electron Avenue like a day after. Again, I don't know if I hate this stage, or not hate it, but like dislike it or like it. It's kind of hard to dictate, I guess. Okay, I was really scared about that crate. I think I should be good now, it's just a matter of if I can win. I've had to stop a lot, so... Yeah, you only got four time crates left. So... I think a lot of them are ones, too. Yep. You have two minutes. Although, if you get the ten second reduction, then... I think I should be good. Yeah. I have to be under two minutes right now? Uh, no, that's just it in general. So you're fine. Yeah, see that one is... That's why I dropped that from hard to medium. Is because once I kind of learned where that was, I was like, okay, maybe it's not that bad. And again, the the only real crate that has weird hitbox... Or not hitbox issues, but you can really over jump or under jump. Is the um, the one on the super jump. I've over jumped it and I've um, under jumped it. The rest of the ones on the jumps, I do not think I've over jumped. Of course, I think it's possible to. But it's hard, like, it's hard to. Under jumping is definitely possible, because I almost under jumped the three. Yes, you wanna really. I have to let it play every time now, guys. I, I can only oh, sure. hear Mr. Krabs. I hear Ukuka kind of. I don't want to do it every time, but I feel like you have to be fair. I skipped it every other time before, so. Alright, uh, Dr. Neocortex. And again, we're using intermediate not just because I'm strict, not only because I'm a uh, only fourteen minutes in, amazing. I know, but yeah, no, I'm I'm doing uh, what's it called, cortex, not only because I feel more comfortable with intermediate characters, uh, but what's it called? Um, they're just balanced and it's just safer. Oh yikes! Yeah, I so this I already one, to see the problem. This one's also kind of weird. There's no hard shortcut, and none that you can really like miss easily. There's just a, a lot of really kind of meanly placed ones that you you kind of have to either slow down for. Also, there's a section kind of like the end of out of time 
that has just like a ton of crates. There's one, basically there's one on the left side and one on the right side. Um, I, this is not how I usually do this, but it is now. Um, there's one, okay, so here's one section. There's a whole bunch of crates here. Don't grab them all, I would say. Spread them out between two laps. Um, this is the only really finicky crate. That one I feel like is so close to the edge, it's really easy to miss. Um, and this jump right here is scary, but I don't think it's really easy to screw up. And this one, yeah, this is the one there's crates on the left and right side. Um, I would just save it for uh, two laps. And then, of course, there's this stupid obstacle, which is kind of questionable. And then there's three, these three, which I've never overjumped before, but this game is questionable at many times, so you never know. Probably won't screw up, but... <laughs> yeah, probably won't, probably but it always has the a chance. Lot of things. Yeah, it, it always has the chance. <laughs> so, never discredit anything. <laughs> Oh, right, and I didn't say it, so, uh, platinum time for Thunderstruck's 2 minutes 15. 2 minutes 15? And I guess if you still have that trivia page open, now that we're in the third world, if, you, oh, yeah, if yeah. there's any special trivia you have there, oh, here. I think you said there was one for Thunderstruck, didn't you? I think I said it was out of time, and I was just checking to see if it was anything. I didn't read it. I'm gonna check Thunderstruck first. Thunderstruck probably has the most boring one, I feel like. Originally, the name of this track was Head and Clouds. Head and Clouds? Yeah. Ah, you know what? Both and, and originally, <laughs> originally, it didn't have the, uh, the rain feature. It was just clouds. That... I, I don't know if I'm... At, I, I think I'm actually glad they... they yeah, went I kind of am too, although I do kind of miss the fact that we lost out on an, another end pun. Fortunately. Oh, is Head and the Clouds? There's head and like yeah, and like just the letter. The yeah, clouds. Head and the clouds. Huh. Yep. Well, this is a game. This is a Crash Bandicoot game. I feel like it's only safe. Of course. Or how for this one loading screen, engines missiles on the wrong side of his head. Which 100% oversight. Let's not oversight let's not or they ourselves. either oversight or they flip the art. Either or. Unless they meant they literally placed it on the wrong side of his head. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it's just on the wrong side of his head. Okay, well, that, that's just an oversight. That's just an artistic yeah, oversight. Yeah, because the engine's one of those creatures that you can't really mirror that looking. Just because his head is half robotic. It is me, engine. Head and the clouds. What's the time out of me here? Uh, it was 2.15, I believe. Oh, I yes, am. you're cutting it close. Cutting it extremely close. Wow, I am eating my own words apparently right now. I mean, you can switch to Team Bandicoot after you save here. And... Yeah. So basically how we're planning it is, we're going to do Team Bandicoot and Team uh, Cortex in one run. and. See how long it takes for both, and then go from there. If it takes 20 minutes for both, though, I'm satisfied with that being one part, honestly. Especially because I didn't get as much practice. Well, no, I got about the same amount of practice on every world, honestly. So how does it make you feel that it took you more attempts to clear Baron Ruins than Thunderstruck? Uh, not that bad, because I uh, failed on purpose. Oh, I also skipped the line of dialogue. Sorry, force of habit. Instinct. You monster! Instinct. I'm sorry. No, 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 uh, no, no, you're going over with Bandicoot. That would have been disastrous. <laughs> that would have been very disastrous. Wait. Also, the, just so everyone knows, this gets you to 99%. Uh, all the relics. I think they're 1% each. Yeah, then you get your last 1 or 2% in the final Velo race. Yep. 1 or 2% depending on uh, your relics, I think. Or depending on just if you get everything. I'm not sure if you need all platinum. I assume you need all gold. I think gold. it's all gold, because that's how you do crash games. They don't make you get for all platinum. They just want you to get all gold or better. Yeah, I pressed no on accident. <laughs> this menu is a little slow. I'm used to doing things really fast, so... It's a game where you got to go fast, okay? It's proto-sonic, right? Look at, the, look at those eyes. Look at those crazy eyes. So beautiful. 
Don't go to Tio Silk. Yeah, this no, time I'm not. No, no, no going to be Los Milos world. Not yet. Oh, yeah, definitely not yet, buddy. Is that Zem or is that Zam? That's Zem, right? I want to say it's Zem. I'm, I'm not. So, they're so similar. Like visually, they're distinctive, but. Yeah, one's like a big brute goblin thing, and then the other guy is like a little tiny... Little dog. Dog, yeah. It's actually kind of cute when you think about it. Yeah. I'd have a plush of him. You know, if he was a more prominent character, I would definitely have a plush of him. But I mean, to be fair... I'm super surprised that they didn't come out with one for Nitro Fuel. I doubt it, but it's not totally implausible. So here's out of time again. And you could say, oh. I'm out of time. You tried the GBA to GBA version, Fake Crash can be found on this track. Yep. As a matter of fact, I think that's how you unlock him. He's like in the he's like in a corner or something. Just like minding his own business. It's really weird actually. Or is that Spyro? There's no no Spyro's just for beating the game. Yeah. There's a character. I think it's Bait Crash. Bait Crash is like literally just in a corner, just like minding his own business. I think he might be dancing too. Kind of like how in Crash Bandicoot 3 he has those cameos. I think it's kind of mm -hmm. like that. Or one and two as well. Insane. Yeah. I think it's kind of like that. I don't even know where he is in two. I know in one he's in like the first world. I know he's in Ruination. Is he, like, really hard to see? It's one of those... No, not at all. Oh, okay. It's really obvious. I don't know if it's Ruin Nation exactly. It's one of the Ruin stages for sure now. I love the Ruin stages. Oh, there you got them both down on the stop. Yep. Uh, but I didn't get that, and that's a little worrisome. That is the... Sp I'll have you know, it, the, the sound of those springs going up is the Spyro sound of him using the spring power-up. Like, uh, in Spyro 2, you know, the... Oh, little, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's probably just a Creative Commons sound effect, but... Probably. A lot of games of that era were used. Oh, yeah, like, Spyro used a bunch of them. I, isn't that where the... I Ooh, I, 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 from, actually? Probably. Most sound effects from the game are that. I'm still really upset they got rid of it. It would explain it, though. Yeah. Well, like, kind of. I can never unhear the, the fodder dying from the, those Sonic 06 enemies. And they brought that sound effect back for generation. Woo! So it's in two games now. Why, I, I, um. Why, I, I, um. It's my favorite part of uh, anything in that game. In that level. I, actually. Not even a joke, that was my favorite part of that entire level. And they got rid of it and I'm upset, because I hate the level otherwise. I lost this. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's. Just it's one of my fun. least favorite levels in the game. Oh my least favorite trilogy is just so. Like, I think maybe my least favorite in general. I feel like. Maybe I'm in. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks this. Probably actually am not, because this actually makes the most sense if you ask me. I think Spyro 1 has the most consistent levels in terms of quality. Just because they're all, for the most part, kind of samey. Not like samey, but... You, you um, kinda... I feel like the ones towards the end of the game are better than the beginning. I think that might have to do strictly with how long they are, bro. Or that might have to play a part of it. A little bit, maybe, but... Oh, but like there's longer levels early on that are like great. Like most of Magic characters, I just don't think it's very good. Wow. You didn't even need the second reduction. I did. Well, I needed all the crates, but I didn't need the reduction. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Gosh, wow! I'm eating my own words. It's weird because so, I literally I did. Guess I'm, you better get ready. So we're recording work. the last C CMK part back to back. Um. And I did literally worlds one through three all together, and I had issues uh, in what's it called? 
super job. Uh, I don't care about it. I believe you, but I also know that you did all these really well. So, yeah. That probably plays a part. Yeah, part of, I think, I think I told you this, but I, one of the reasons I thought this world was oh. hard was because it was late. Alright, so, uh, I'm still on that fake crash page. Somebody wrote down all the appearances of fake crash in the trilogy. Oh. I mean, we could wait for so them. So, would you like to know what they all are? <laughs> ah, you know what? I might as well. I was gonna say, we could wait till we LP it, but it's gonna be so long, it doesn't... Oh, oh, that's gonna be, like, a year at least. Yeah, so who cares? Because I have so many games that I have, like, pre -planned. Exactly, like, you have Rechain, which is... It's gonna take forever, and as soon as you finish that game, Team Arts 2 is gonna take over, I'm sure, so... Yep, probably. That's actually a game I'd be willing to jump possible. into. That's actually a game I'd be willing to have more than one a week for. So yeah, Crash Bandicoot, there's only two. There's in in Sandy Beach, which we already mentioned. Yep. There's also one for Heavy Machinery, using one of the pipes. That is such a bizarre stage to have him in. <laughs> I know, like... Personally, I would have put him in like a climb or something like that, but... No? Okay. Hell, I'd put him in, like, one of the uh, jungle roller stages. Yeah, that too. Even. Or Hog Wild. How about that? Actually, yeah, that, that seems pretty perfect. Maybe even the Seeker Hog level. Whatever it's called. Yeah, but it's both of them. Uh, whole hog. <laughs> Yes, that is the name. <laughs> that's such a good name. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed so hard at that. that. I mean, that's sexual. Welcome to Naughty Dog. I mean, with a name like Naughty Dog, can we really be that upset? <laughs> but you know what you're getting into. <laughs> <laughs> that's... That's... Actually, I'm more surprised they didn't make a rated AO game. <laughs> yes. I feel like they're slowly oh. trying to get their way toward getting an AO game there. I underjumped so that. Okay, we had an E right. game. Now we got a T rated game. Now we got M rated. They're one rating away, guys. It's gonna happen. So, like, if they were gonna go AO, would it be like. like porn stuff? Or would it be like. like, like uh. Like, that's basically all AO is. I was gonna say, it's either, is it either gonna be the porn stuff? Or, or, like, would they go the porn route? Or would they go in. Like a uh, Manhunt 2 route where it's like so gratuitous and kind of ludicrous with how violent it is. Naughty Dog, so honestly, 50 50. Because. Like, I want to say it would be the Manhunt route, but. Because, yeah. I can't I, rule it out entirely. I don't know if you know, but like, Manhunt, I think the original rating was like AO for a really long time. It was also banned in like almost. Like, all the countries oh, yeah. that get banned games, it was like the most banned game. Cause oh, it was I wonder why. Too, it was just way too violent and too good to this. And of course it's a Rockstar game. <laughs> so, no. They already have a target on their back anyway because... Wow. So, yeah, you're gonna have a hard time. I, I told you, you can under jump it and over jump it and I'm having... I'm going... It looks like I'm going the over... or under jumping route. Wait, so, uh... I didn't mention all the fake crash locations. I only said for Crash 1. Sorry, I just so then, got distracted. Oh, no, it's fine. So, Crash 2. First one is the pits, actually. Left side of the path near the first big mushroom. Okay, it makes sense. I, I can see that one. Yeah. Crash Crash is the next one. Okay. Left side of the path while Crash is being chased by Boulder. Again, I, I could see that one. That, that's kind of yeah, like the jump that makes up for Jungle Rollers to me. Yeah. Personally, I think I've done Unbearable instead, just because I think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> Like, have that giant bear chasing him. There he is, just hanging oh. out. Oh, well, you gotta restart anyway. I was going way too slow, and I screwed up my jump. <laughs> yeah, okay, so. Next one is Hang 8. The end of the blue gem route. Okay. Wow, Ruination. he's in a lot of that, places. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, Ruination, that's the one I knew about. Right side of the first platform, flipping a circle. So, it was Ruination. Cool. This new is the theme. So, Cold Heart, Cold Heart Crash. Of course. Of course he's in that level. <laughs> Granted, it's so much better in Insane. Where was he? In it? He's in the death route, which... Of course. He doesn't even show up until you're at 100%, so why are you ever... Because you hate yourself. Why would you ever even want to go back in a cool hard crash? But if you could skip general... levels on any percent, I would skip that level on any percent. Oh yeah. So then, next one is Rocket. Makes sense. It's the right side of space in the first classroom. Why is he in so many spots in Crash 2? He was only in two in the first game. 
Yeah. He's probably only. He has one more too. Two. From three. What is it? Totally fly. Between a tree and a TV statue on the left, and that one had to have been considering that level. I could. I. You know what? I'm not even upset he's in that one because that feels fair. Yeah. Then warped. I think all but one of these is is no stage in the original. Which he's only in two spots. Bacon Whitty, Hog Ride, Area 51. Is he only in two spots in the original? I know he's in Toad Village and Making Waves in the original. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. He, I thought he was only in Toad Village and Making Waves. Yeah, so, in the original. Okay, then I guess I'll go over the other two. Hog Ride, he's been dancing on the left side of the road. Okay. And then Area 51, which is the same theme, of course. Left side of the road near Tall Cactus. If anything, he should be in Area 51. Oh yeah, absolutely. And one more level, he was adding the PC. He's adding the, the PC version of the game? Uh, no. Future Tense was the DLC level. Oh. I still don't have that. I've heard it's really good, though. It's... It's free DLC. There's no reason not to oh, get it. Oh, it's free? It was. I assume it still is. I thought it was... Can you check real quick? I can't, because I got it. Well, I mean, can you go, like, search on the Google, like, the store on Google itself? You, like, actually, I might not have it on my system now, just because it's a pro. Lost on the data. Yep, well, that's what happens, I guess, you, when you don't yeah. have PS Plus to cloud save everything. Which, I do have PS Plus, and I do have cloud saves, they just didn't work. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot you told me that. Like, funny enough, I've had one cloud save for one game that actually worked. Which was Gravity Rush. That was the only one that worked. Sony, I still want to play those games. Or specifically the second game. That's the game I definitely want to play. Is it bad I that I just want to yeah, almost so want to play it just because the main character's cute? Is that is that bad? I mean, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're banking on that, so no. I mean, you won't disagree when I say she's cute, so whatever. Oh no, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure you've described her as adorable, but whatever. Oh, sure, easy. So yeah, I don't feel too bad about it. Okay, so that took like a few resets, I think. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, still wasn't nearly as bad as could have been. As a matter of fact, I think I've had more issues on this stage than I've had on uh, and the two other stages I've done, which I said are harder. <laughs> So, uh, this is the part where we make ourselves have to be- Yeah, okay. Apparently so. Stop it, Rumpy. So, yeah, I did say we are talking over it. Yes, the level is free still. Oh, well, I need to go- At least on PS4. But I assume it's free on the other stage. I need to grab it then. I, I definitely want to play it. I've heard it's really hard too, though, right? It's hard to get the relic. I don't know if I would call it hard in general. It's not like playing through. Like, it's decently hard, but it's- like, you're not playing Hyperspaceway. I'm not playing Hyperspaceway, and I'm not playing uh, the other really hard stage from Crash 1 that got added back in because they fucking hate everyone. Wait, there's a Crash Bandicoot manga? What? Not surprised. Crash was surprisingly popular in Japan. <laughs> if I remember correctly, it was, like, ridiculously popular in Japan. That's actually probably oh, yeah, one like, of the it reasons... It was a really big deal when... The game got delayed for Insane Trilogy in Japan. There was a big deal? Huh? Well, what I heard, it was a pretty big deal for them. I'm not surprised. They had to wait a few months. It was a, what's it called? It was a hit for, for them. Like, it was a sleeper hit. It wasn't, I don't think it was something like, um, because I think if I remember correctly, in Spyro, they actively tried to, what's it called? Like, they actively tried oh, yeah, to, like, they tried to it. appeal to them, and it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, and then... Uh, to the point where the third game, they didn't even bother. Hell, even Jack and Daxter did the same thing. They, they tried to appeal to the mass audience to make it sell, and it's still did too well. Well, the first one did anyway. Once they went the pseudo-GTA angle, they kind of just gave up. Yeah. They knew there was no way it was going to sell. Though, we... I, I think Naughty Dog admitted they knew it wasn't going to sell, too. In Japan, like they they knew it wasn't gonna work over there. Oh yeah, well, the, I'm sure they're one of those companies that are like they're focusing on the Western audience first. Yeah, like unless Japan was like ten to one in sales, 
Naughty Dog definitely wasn't. Uh, I'll still keep trying just in case I win this. Uh, Naughty Dog definitely wasn't like a huge name in Japan, and I can explain that uh, easily. And that is just because they are Western developers, and Japanese people don't usually like hail Western developers. Even if they make really good stuff that they definitely like and caters towards them, they don't. They don't like glorify them or whatever. If that makes sense. It's not like um because Crash sold really well, but they weren't like yeah Western developer. They were just like yeah Crash Bandicoot. They didn't care about the the fact that it was Western developed or whatever. They they didn't make a big deal about it. They're just like whatever. It's not like Nintendo where they're like we love Nintendo. They're Japanese. Of course they're Japanese. It's called xenophobia, folks. They're a very patriotic country. Yeah, it's like. Patriotism's not a bad thing on its own. I don't know, they're kind of like the poster child for when it goes too far. They are a strange country in the sense of they absolutely love foreigners. But they don't like it when they immigrate. It's not that they like the It's it's not because of the what's it called? It's not it's not because of the they don't like it strictly because oh it's they're gonna give us money and this and that. Like that's not their main appeal for foreign people. There's just they, they have, just want to tell people about their culture. They have a fascination. Yeah, they have like a fascination with foreign people. And then it's when it comes to immigration, that's where I've heard is that's where it gets a little iffy for them, especially like. Yeah, older. I know their immigration laws in general are a bit wacky. Yeah. You think the U.S.'s immigration laws are weird though? People try to act like our immigration laws and Canadian immigration laws are like the greatest thing to exist, but then they forget the fact that you need to like live in this country for 10 years to be a legal citizen. Oh, I'm not pretending like it's perfect here, but it's, they get so much worse. God, we're getting political. Political again. <laughs> yeah, I, I do guess. I'm actually surprised that you kept, I'm surprised you actually kept going on, and I'm surprised. I mean, to be fair, I started as a joke. Yeah. But, but yeah, no, they're, but, but yeah, for sure, they're, um, Naughty Dog's never been, like, an in-house name or whatever over there. Of course not in-house, but they've never been, like, a big name over there, like, that everyone in Japan is like, ooh, we're waiting for the next Naughty Dog game to come out. I don't think you're gonna make it. It's too good team. If you do, it's gonna be barely. I'm gonna make it. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah, you are. Good job. Oh, I doubt it. This gave me so many pro Maybe because this was the last stage of the night that I did and it was like almost 5 a.m. Maybe that's why I had so many issues with it. Maybe. Well, okay, you definitely have time for World 4. Well, here to here, folks. I didn't get to make the decision. <laughs> well, World 4 and Hyperspace Way. We're fitting Hyperspace Way in together with it. Yeah, World 4. That's basically a World 4 stage. And you said that for both, it's pathetically easy. <laughs> on the rankings. So. Yeah, it's pathetically easy. Or, Granted, actually, you said it was very easy. But... It's okay. It's not pathetically easy. Yeah, I would say it's very easy because I feel like unlike Baron Ruins, where I have just to actively. <laughs> oh wait, no, you're Team Bandicoot. Whatever. Yeah. Remember, I kind of had to go uh, back and forth or whatever because we were yeah. saying we were seeing how long uh, it would do, take me. We do want to. I do want to have him read off his line at least once. Who else? Yes. Who's? yes. Fine. Okay, I don't so care if it takes 10 minutes. So the first just... stage here is assembly lane, correct? Yep. I like to do it in order, guys. Sorry, it's like an OCD thing. It's fine. So this one, I think, I think I marked all of them as hard. No, all but one, which is e like very easy luck based. <laughs> so assembly lane is hard. Indoor Dally is the very easy luck based when you talk about an electron out. I think Electron Avenue is, what is it? You cut off, sorry. You marked it as easy. Okay. Yeah, this one, I don't know. I was just having, like, issues. This crate right here I have issues with, and then I get it first try, of course. Um, Let's players curse, <laughs> but backwards. Oh, oh I well, yeah, you already didn't press in my thing all the way. Oh. This, this, this is a level that has a lot of, like, one crates in spots that I swear are much harder to get than the, the game truly leads on. I'm not going to get it that time. Okay. okay, well I guess I'm not getting a shortcut this time, or this uh, lap. This one's kind of cruelly placed. Um, 
This one isn't cruelly placed, but that one crate in the middle is kind of hard to get. Um, I'm gonna so try to- Why the one crate in the middle of that oil puddle area? That should have been at least two. Because they hate us. Also, there you have to go on this route twice because the, yeah. there's two different ways yeah, to go. Too. Uh, and then this part is kind of iffy too because they have these three. These so three remember crates. when we thought that had to be a suicide jump? Well, the hitbox is definitely yeah, bigger I got, here. I got them all. So I know it's not a suicide jump. Also, the crates there are just much larger, or like the hitbox is much larger than the K is what I kind of like to attribute it to. I could be wrong, but that's what I like to attribute it to. Again, I was going through that zero issues getting it this normally. This crate is the probably the worst one. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. And that one you have to jump at for the first time. I know that one you have to jump at like a really specific angle. Wow, I can't believe I screwed that you up. You cut off your turbo boost too early. You this nice this one. one is kind of iffy. Yeah, I have to restart. That one's kind of iffy, too. This is why I kind of mark it as hard, mostly because the, the crates here are kind of cruelly placed, in my opinion. There's a lot of ones that are like, why are these placed here? And then there's more questions you ask yourself, like, why is this a one crate? I, that's just it. I didn't have to restart. Look, I just instinct. Yeah, these crates, I don't know, there's there's something about how all the like dirt jumps are like not all even and stuff like that. It makes it way harder than it is. I jumped way too early. I am mm -hmm. apparently this is my new out of time. Yeah, apparently. Fun fact. Um I kept so over out of time. I, I was gonna say fun fact, I kept overshooting the jumps, uh what's it called, when I was practicing this. I kept I kept missing the three on the shortcut because I kept freaking going so fast. Same thing happens with out of time. Not out of time yeah, to do out of time. time. Okay, let's see if I can jump at the right time this time. There we go. That's gonna be questionable, but I'll box there. I'll take it. But you got the really hard one at the beginning. And you got the short time. You can, you can get it here, it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually seem like it slows you down that much. It does not really. Kind of trying to focus on this one because. Oh, jeez, uh, that was just me screwing up. That was not the anti gravity's fault. It was like, okay, it was semi the anti gravity's fault, but it was mostly how I controlled it that kind of made it wacky. Kind of curious how the pipe's going to work for that anti gravity. Ugh. I'm trying to think of how they can even make that one condition at all. I, I think I know how. They can fence it off. Or, like, fence it off, like, so you can only go on it at, um... They're gonna have to make the pipe huge then. I'll tell you what I mean once I get there. Also, if you are good enough, you can do... You can get a lot of the crates. Um, what's it called? In You can get a lot of the crates in that one section right there. Um, and you can, uh do the shortcut twice. I don't know if you can see why I'm kind of why why I kind of consider this one to be hard. <laughs> oh yeah. There's easily. there's a lot of that, like that's a faster crate. That's faster crate too. There's there's a lot of those and that that's kinda of why I said it as hard. Also I've missed that jump more times than I would like to admit. See what I think they're gonna do is they're gonna cut off right here. Like they're gonna make it so only this top part is rideable. Yeah, that just seems like it will be so tight. Uh, yeah, no, I think they'll ex like they'll make it larger. I think they will do that. I think they kind of have to. But it would be like going through that fence area about a time again. Which I think they should already expand to begin with. Yeah. I think that's already like cutting, cutting too close. So what is the time I even have to beat here? Oh, yeah, hold on, I'll get it back open. It was... 145. 145, okay. Uh, kind of scared them. So I do have to kind of stop at the way end. We've still got roughly 30 seconds if you count the 10 seconds. Yeah. There's just a lot of bastard crates here. 
Oh, I know, I've noticed. That stupid pipe. It's not even the worst of them. Oh. There's just ones in, like, corners. This one right here is kind of questionable. Yeah, like, I didn't even know where it was located. Yeah, I could completely be missing it. And then... There should not be problems. They should be good to the finish line. It was one... What was it? 145? 145. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's so many fine. fucking bastard places. Yeah, that was my heart level of the bunch, so... Well, you're good until you have to go through Team Cortex again, I guess. Yeah, definitely I would say that was probably one of the more stressful levels. Also, this level kind of reminds me of Engine Labs to an extent. Engine was in first place here. I wonder if that was intentional or not. It's like Tiny Arena and Engine Labs in one, if you think about it. Because it's got the dirt road section, and then it's got the Engine Labs se section. Super job! You've won a relic! Super job! You've won a relic! There you go, Afia. That's your one moment to shine. I hope it was worth it. Alright, it's time for, uh... The second one is the one on your left. The easy right. one. It's right here. Yeah. Okay, this one is easy. Um, very easy, as a matter of fact. Um, this was the first level we actually tested to see if the relics were going to be hard. Because we were, I was still telling him, give me a level that you think would be hard or something that I've like struggled in. And this is the level he thought of. Uh, so we gave it a try. It's train. Yeah. So we gave this one a try. Easiest one for me. Outside of, uh, obviously, what's it called? Uh, Baron Ruins. But this one is definitely... I think the second is actually this one's probably the I can't I don't know if it's a second or I want to say it's kind of the second easiest one and this one's also kind of dependent on luck um, and we'll get to that in a second because we're about to get to the luck section yep I assume you're going for that one first yep all right so this jump here doesn't work properly, and there are three crates. Um, so yeah, um, this, that one you can either over jump it without your control, or you can under jump it without your control. <laughs> um, okay, you gotta do that three times, I see. That's, yep. uh, that's terrifying. So that one's completely based on luck, in my opinion. Um, and I went really slow there, but that's kind of the bastard crate right there. Um, but yeah, you can you can honestly get hit by like the train. Um, you can miss crates, and you will. There's a high probability you'll still win. This one's teetering on pathetically easy. I wouldn't say it's full pathetically easy because you can get hit a lot and you can screw up a lot and you will lose. It's not like Baron Ruins where you actively have to try to win or to lose to to. Yeah what's it called but this one is like you can lose but it's it'd be really i feel like it's just uh, the time here for platinum is too expensive by the way okay. let's i'm curious to see if um the gravity will screw us over on these crates right here and there's no way it's completely random look at you can go at it normally and then that happens i couldn't control that and that's why I say this one is based on luck. But again, you don't need that uh, all those crates to win, and a part of me thinks that they knew that. <laughs> yeah. Although I feel like if they did know that, they wouldn't have first place. Or they would have just like fixed it. Yeah. It's. I think it just has something to do with the anti gravity. I think they would have had to fix that but if anything they should just make the very last part of it non-anti-gravity and then that should fix the problem oh, yeah. right because that reorients reorientates your character to not the anti-gravity and i think i just had a power surge for a second i don't know if i was oh i don't know if that was me like blacking out for a second i don't think that's how that works because i think it's all the game no the game was still going if you had a power full computer would shut down no, I... I don't even know. I think, like, my light flickered. You know what I mean? Like, not a full surge, but I think it's a flicker. I'll have to ask something real quick. Not real quick, but, like, after this. I guess there's a two crate here. 
Yeah, so if you fail those, I would definitely try to get the highest crates first. Um, I would definitely try to save that one crate for last. Are you even going to bother going on all that? Okay, yes, so. I was going to say it might be faster to just take the shortcut down. It would be. I forgot that was a one crate. Whatever, I'll miss that one too. I should be good. Isn't it 215? Yep. Yeah, I'm good. Or no, 210. Oh, I'm still good. I was almost not good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that one, see, that's why I say it's very easy. I missed two crates. I took a longer path and... Sorry. I'm asking if the power surge for a second. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, and because of that, cool. I'm going to save after this. For sake. <laughs> I mean, realistically, we should probably be saving after. Probably, yeah. Proper. Not that it doesn't like... matter much for the sake of the LP because you record these as MP4s in a Sonic Generation. <laughs> tell you. you oh, your file's go. corrupt. I forget why I don't save them as an MP4. There's a reason. Part of me wants to say, because I was lazy and forgot to. And it's because MP4s are convenient for you. I think that's your only reason. It doesn't matter anymore when you have Vegas. Exactly. But, like, personally, I don't. I just, just drag and drop anyway. And there's Oxide. Getting owned. Uh, the Platinum Relic time for Electron Avenue is 3 minutes and 3 seconds. I think I marked this one as easy, you said, right? Yep, just normal easy. So I think, if I remember correctly, this one you can also kind of miss a box crate on. Obviously, I wouldn't test fate, but I think you can get away with it. This one has some crates that are kind of like iffy placed. Well, not really. I think I think this one's actually really straightforward. Serves. Um, I was also jamming out when I was playing this stage because I needed the game because I was like, might as well. Also, hello, anti gravity. Friend. But um, yeah, I was I was jamming out to music because I, I needed it while I was practicing and I was just jamming out to my own music. And if I'm jamming out to my own music, usually that means like I was like hardcore jamming. So that usually means that I wasn't paying nearly as much attention as I could have. Again, I can't exactly fault for that by this point. I'm sure you can get through these as quickly as possible. The music in this game isn't even bad, for the record, guys. It's honestly, if anything, it's passable. It's just kind of there. <laughs> it's noise. That's kind of what crash music was for a while until Swiss Andy showed up. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, I remember songs from like Crash 2, but I think a lot of that has to do with nostalgia. Well, so. I was talking mostly about like giant cortex in this game. Oh but... yeah, a lot of that's just noise. And then yeah, and then Twin Sandy came around and was like, "Hi, I'm gonna give this series a lot of really good music with one whole game." Also, a lot of really weird music. I mean, Twin Sandy is weird. I love it, but it's weird. It's weird, but it's also so unique, and that's why I love it. It's the, oh sure. Not only is it like the only game soundtrack that I can think of at all that's pure acapella. It's also, but it's actually good. really good acapella. <laughs> I know Spiral that, Mouth. That being said, if they did want to remake the game with an actual instrument soundtrack, I wouldn't have to be that upset. If they changed the soundtrack to what's it called, to Insanity, I would cry. I wouldn't be that mad. I'd cry. Like, leave an option for acapella and throw the original soundtrack for the purists. And Apparently, Spiral Mouth is still a thing. They disbanded shortly after the Sandy came out, but I don't know how that's... There was, there was somewhere where I read that they were, like, still a thing. They just never, like, made more music. They just did, like, live stuff. They never did anything. Like, studio again. They made one album, I think. Like, one legit album, and I think it was a cover album. <laughs> um, and that was after Twin Sandy, I think. 
Actually, I think it was like 2010. I really wish I could fact check it. You can probably Google that and you can probably find an answer. But, yeah, no. I... Active until 2005. Okay, I know they. I, mean, I still know they made it out, but. I feel like if they were to 2005 add... is when Tag Team... Oh, yeah. yeah that, that was the why. Because they were involved in that game soundtrack, too. I'm pretty sure... If you can get a whole bunch of talented people, again, with, like, the ma the main masterminds behind Spiral Mouth, I'm pretty sure you can remake the soundtrack easily. I think acapella, for the most part, you just need to find people that have that have the tones of acapella you're going for. I feel like that's probably the biggest issue in, in trying to like reform a band like that. If you're trying to go for something specific, I feel like you're going to have to find people that can do very specific tones. But I mean, if you listen to the, the soundtrack of what's it called, of Twin Sanity, then you know that they they definitely heavily like modified the voices. The acapella voices to it. Man, I love that concept. So uh, that's uh, it's always a good sign for Spiral Mouth when uh, I didn't even realize this the first time I clicked on this. I didn't even give me the English Wikipedia. Oof. Uh, I swear I read somewhere that they. I missed a crate. Oops. <laughs> I saw the crate that I missed, and I was a second behind. That's unfortunate. <laughs> See, I missed a crate, and I almost... I was literally a second behind. So that shows that this is pretty easy. I was so busy focused on talking about Spiral Mouth that I completely forgot the ending had a... a crate that I missed. I think I also autopiloted, because the last time I did this, I got all the crates in that last section, so I was like, I'm done. It's whatever, though. I'll just do that again. It's alright. This is a good stage, anyways. Plus, <laughs> I like seeing that loading screen. That too. There's something magical about watching Oxide get punished so much after CTR. I think it's his face. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Electron Avenue. I like this stage. It's very good. It's alright. <laughs> it's good enough stage. I'm really hoping they that Nitro Field ends up being as good as CTR honestly is, if not better, because if it is, it's definitely gonna be my favorite car racer of all time, I think. But not the remains. Phoenix is making it, which terrifies me. Yeah, but I heard, didn't they make, like, really bad games and stuff or something? Yeah, they don't have the best characters. So, like, what games did they make? I mean, the most... Let me put it this way, and I'm sure I told you this before, but okay, the yeah. most noteworthy title is terrible Spider-Man games. Like, you know how everyone oh, complained about... Oh, the PS3 ones, right? Yeah, like, you know how everybody complained about Spider-Man games not being any good Spider-Man 2? Yeah. Like, the movie tie-in game and the PS4 one that Zombiac made? Yeah, they were involved with a lot of those. To be fair, they were probably like not metaphorically. They were probably forced with a gun to oh, make it. Probably, because that was still at the time where tie-in games were basically uh, everywhere still. Yeah, they were still doing it for a while. Like I think oh, Amazing Spider-Man. Thankfully, they stopped making Spider-Man movies for a while after that, so they got to do something different. Yeah, and then Spider-Man Far From Home... Oh, wait, that's a new one coming out. And then Spider-Man Homecoming came out. And then everything changed. Because then Spider-Man Enter the Spider-Verse came out. Yeah. And now yeah. everybody loves Spider-Man again. Yay! I don't think everybody really hated it. They just hated the games. Well, people... The Amazing Spider-Man was really decisive when it came out. Like, a lot of people didn't. Some people liked... There's, there's a thing about Most Super... people they hear from didn't like it. Yeah, I... It, the 2 is actually just not good. <laughs> Um, one is much more passable, two it has a lot of weird plot holes and threads that either have no reason to exist, or they just kind of exist, and it's dumb. The only kind of problem I had of two was that they're trying to juggle three plots of 
Like, ask Spider Man 3. That too. It's not work well when you trade the trap. Everybody knows Spider Man 3 is uh, Sony's fault. Sam, oh, Sam, no. Sam Raimi did. He, he already said it too. Yeah, he straight up said he didn't want to add Venom in the movie, but they were so insistent on adding him into the movie. That's also why Spider Man 4. For, that's why that never happened. He left. It actually wasn't Sony's fault that Spider Man yeah. 4 never happened. It was it was Raimi. He was like, no. I can't. Yeah, because Sony didn't want to give up control. Yeah, and he was like, I'm not doing this. And that sucks, too, because Spider-Man 4 could have been great. See, what they should have done, for anybody who's seen Spider-Man 3, have you seen Spider-Man 3? Just curious. Yeah. What they should have done, and a lot of people probably would agree, and I'm pretty sure you'd agree, they should have set up the symbiote and set up Venom for Spider-Man 4. Well, That's sure. what they should have done. They said they end up with two films where neither of them are really established. The Sandman's really not established. Like, it's supposed to be his movie, so yikes. They couldn't, they, they didn't have the time to do it. That's the problem, yeah. yeah. They couldn't do Well, it's not that they didn't have the time to do it, it's they like couldn't do it. They kind of didn't have the time, but they literally, Sony wanted them to put in Venom. That's the main excuse, and why that movie is bad. Um, well, not bad. Actually, you know what? I still like Spider Man. I've watched through it again like six months ago, and I'm like, you know what? This is actually like it has flaws. It, it's 100%. I think it's the only movie I ever saw. As that you ever saw. That's a kid. I liked everything. Did you did you watch it again when you were older? Yes, I still did it. That's unfortunate, but I mean, I understand. You know, it's not like something that's like I don't understand why you don't like it when you're older. It's, it does. It does. It have has some... good things about it. I won't deny that. It's just... It has the dancing scene. Dancing emo scene. Yeah. People give shit to that scene, but it was fucking intentional and everybody knows it. It's Sam Raimi! He oh, made I evil know. dead! I'm not that dense, I know. Yeah, but people are like, No, this is terrible. This is the worst thing ever. This isn't Spider-Man. Not my hashtag, not my spider Oh, wow, you don't even hit the... Well, I, guess you need I needed at least a one. Need reduction. It was basically the same exact uh, th yeah. thing last time. Except See, basically, if I didn't I know get people hit... Do uh, I was gonna say, if I didn't get hit at the way end and I missed a one crate, I would have won, essentially. Yeah. But anyways, as you were saying. Oh, I was just going back to, to the whole dancing emo scene. Oh yeah, I love that scene. <laughs> I'll talk. I could talk about the scene all day. I fucking love it. Yeah, like, talk about how intentional it was. Like, I mean, people still give the, the laughing scene Final Fantasy Ten shit, but we all know that was intentional. I don't even know why people give it shit. It literally is intentional. Everyone knows it is. The voice actors have said it's intentional. The directors have said it's intentional. They you, still... You know what else says it's intentional? It the scene says it's intentional. Oh, yeah. Like, if you ever actually seen the cutscene, it's very obvious. They literally, like, they jokingly say, just laugh. Oh, yeah. And then what do you think they do? They laugh. And that's what happens. It's literally, it's in the game, and I've, it's never been out of context or anything. Well, it's out of context. It's if extremely you, out of context. Yeah, but nobody ever mentions that the context is that they literally say, just laugh, just smile, whatever, you know. You can't, can't always be, like, so serious and this and that. You gotta, you gotta have to enjoy yourself. So they laugh. In a silly way, on purpose. But it doesn't Even make it. Totally screwed. It doesn't make it any more funny though that the Japanese version sounds like a fucking crow calling. It's actually just really <laughs> funny. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we're in hyperspaceway. Um, uh, your relic time for this will be three minutes and thirty seconds. It very very easy. Um, I kind of want to say this is still the second easiest, but I'm not really sure. Um, I've grown to like this stage enough where seeing it doesn't make me shudder. Luckily. Now that you can pretty much count on Velo anytime you want. Yep. Um, even the the time there there's a crate on a shortcut which we finally get to show off. Um, there's a. We didn't know it existed before. Yeah, there's a crate on a shortcut. <laughs> also, you can get hit by the fire gear all you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, there is a crate on this crazy shortcut which we get to show, and that's the only one that's iffy. And when Mayo mentioned it, he was like, "It's kind of in a weird spot," and I. I, I'm afraid that you it might be kind of easy to miss. Luckily, Mayo, I can confirm it is basically dead on on where you would, like, go for the... What's it called? Like, how you'd make the jump, that's what happens. All right, it's right here. Oh, well, it's not how I was making the jump, at least. There you go. There you go. There's a shortcut. 
And that's the second shortcut. Very cleverly hidden. That actually zooms the camera out. It's way too close. It's funny, because before I was like, I don't like the camera zoomed out all the way in. Now that's actually changed. <laughs> this is my preferred way. The more way. you can see, the better. At least that's how I see it. As a matter of fact, this part is probably the worst part. Um, yeah, I think but, that's what we've kind of agreed on since the beginning. Yeah, but luckily they... they uh, what's it called? They, they made it not too bad. They just have two little sections where there's... Um, Again, another section where I'm very curious to see how they make that work in Nitro people. Yeah, I know. As a matter of fact, now that I've done this stage so many times, I'm actually a little dis upset they're going to get rid of it because I actually kind of really like that part of the stage. It's actually probably my favorite oh, yeah. part of the stage. Yeah, like, the first Intergravity segment, okay, yeah, that can work as just in track, no problem. Oh, yeah, but... for sure. As a matter of fact, they could probably not even, like, screw around with the, uh, what's it called? Like, so, yeah, they probably don't even have to mess with level tree that much. Yeah, they probably don't have to at all. Really. Like, maybe this part. This part's, like, kind of upside yeah, down. But... It's... but it twists around a little bit, but it's... It's mostly standard track. Yeah, yeah for the most part, you just good. have to, instead of making it go upside down, you just keep the geometry like this, and then you, uh, what's it called? Maybe thing. Um, I, I will mention one thing that's actually really, uh, the only real thing that I find difficult about the stage, and that are these boxes that are off the edges right here. Um, some of them, you can, I feel, I, I haven't missed them before. But some of them, I feel like if you jump, you have a chance to accidentally overjump, and I feel like you can potentially underjump if you're trying not to overjump it. I think that's like the only thing that's particularly hard about those uh, crates. And you don't have to get every crate in this. I consider it very easy because of that. You can, like that one crate that I just jumped over, if on lap three I jump over it again, it, it, it's okay. Like, there's still. Yeah, a I'm certain they did that because of the shortcut. Uh, I can't take the shortcut. Well, I can, but... Oh, I know, but I mean, like, because it's so difficult. Yeah. I'm not gonna take the shortcut. It's way too risky. I didn't seem to have any trouble with the first time. <laughs> oh, I didn't have troubles with the first time. Yeah, I know. Uh, where is this box? Yeah, there's two here. Yeah. You like how I stopped in place and tried to find it? That's how I did it, um, what's it called, before we started recording, when I practiced it again, just to be sure I wasn't crazy, because I told you, I was like, I'm gonna do it again just to make sure I'm not crazy. Um, and that's actually as easy as I thought it was. <laughs> and yeah, you're on your final lap and only two minutes into three minutes thirty. Yep. I, again, I really have never. I don't think this one's that hard. You would think it's really hard. You'd you would scared. expect to be the worst. Of the worst, especially in your case, when you played through the Velo Ghost first. Yeah. And I'm not even using. And yeah, and I'm not even using the little tricks to like. Win. Oh yeah, I'm just doing the track normally, and I'm definitely going fairly slow, and I'm still probably gonna win. So I still have over a minute left, or a little under a minute now. But he said 3:30, right? Yep. Let's see if I can get this crate here. Oh, no! Nope. I mean, you really didn't get it. On the bright side, I might be fine still. Actually, I might not be because I got screwed over. Again, it's easy, but it's not like Baron Room. It's easy. <laughs> but I'm going to try to see if I can do this. There's not really many crates left, though, so I'm starting to get really wary. Yeah, you've got 20 seconds, and you don't get a time bonus. I think I think that jumps. I think that jump actually really screwed it. Oh, there's a crate. Nah, I'm not gonna make the super jump. It's, what, it's 230, right? There's 330, yeah. 330, that's what I meant. Uh, I was still you actually fairly... got all but one box. I was still fairly <laughs> close. And that was with many errors, mind you, too. Oh, yeah. So... But only one of them that actually really mattered to you, unfortunately. Yeah, if I didn't screw up that jump, I definitely would have got it, even if I missed a crate still. Wow, that is the first time I've missed that one. <laughs> That's the first. Interesting. Okay. Honestly, um, you could probably do laps uh, one and two. Like, Actually, I'll explain it better once I get there. Um, 
so I don't lose my train of thought when I'm there. Or so it's easier for me to explain, I'm trying to focus and play it's hard. Playing games and talking at the same time is actually kind of hard. So what you can probably do is on this lap, you, like on lap one or two, you can get this shortcut. And then on lap two, you could probably, um, what's it called? You can probably go on the main path and get some of the boxes there. And then on mm. lap three, you could probably take the shortcut again. You'd probably save some time. If you're feeling risky. Probably. Like, does it save 10 seconds worth? Uh, no, it won't They're save. Not gonna get all the boxes. It won't save 10 seconds worth, more than likely. But it will more than likely save time. Like save time. Say, for example, you missed a box and you know you're not gonna get it, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, in that case, sure, go for it. Yeah. Like maybe you accidentally like mistimed one of the the jumps on the what's it called the the boxes on one of the jumps or something. Then yeah, you can just do that. You should be good. Like, for example, say you missed one of these, right? Yeah, then you there's can no way to go back for him. So. Yeah, so then you could probably do what I said. You'd probably be fine. I should get that. Ghostbusters is being remade. How long is it until we have... I'm actually surprised they're remaking that game. They are? Yeah. I didn't even know. It was like literally announced like either today or yesterday. I'm not joking. Google it. Are we talking like the 2010 game? Like the yeah. terrible one? No, not the terrible one. The, the good one. The one that people said should be Ghostbusters 3. The PS3 one. I'm not joking. Google it. Again. Yeah, that's the one that everyone says is terrible. Just from what I've heard. No, it's it, there's there's a Ghostbusters game that everyone says is good. I think it's in, in next gen consoles. Literally, people say it should be Ghostbusters. 3. It might be the 2010 game. I'm not sure. Yeah, but there's a remaster coming out, alright. Yep, I told you. Yep, coming out for Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. It's very weird that they're doing that. I, there's something really weird about it, and I can't describe it. I can't explain it, rather. There's a lot of things that I have difficulties, like, explaining. Like, I feel certain ways about certain things, but I, I can't really explain it. And that really sucks, because especially when you're trying to tell somebody why you may not why like it. you like it. something, or you may like it. You yeah. Know, I know, it happens to me all the time. You're, and you're, like, not entirely... You can't pinpoint it. Like, for example, a good example is... Uh, Death Stranding coming out soon. I looked at the trailer, and every time I see the gameplay, I'm like, I'm interested in the world and the story, but there's something about the gameplay. Every time I see it, I'm just like, it doesn't seem fun or something. Like, it doesn't seem interesting. Is that kind of just like a famous trademark, though? At no. least it doesn't outside looking at Metal Gear Solid. Never looked at it. Maybe. Like an interesting game for the story, but... Maybe, but the thing is, like... Like, Metal Gear Solid 5 is funny. Funny is Metal Gear Solid 5 is like the op opposite of that. The story is like lackluster, especially because it was rushed to hell. But the gameplay is like so open and it, it's basically like Breath of the Wild in the sense of you can do whatever you want sort of thing. So it's good in the gameplay front. It's just the... what's it called? The story is bad. It's just opposite for most Metal Gear games. Like I have Metal Gear Solid 5 on my, my PS4, but I'm probably never going to play it because I have so many other home games I've placed homework, I'm never going to get through it. I'll just tell you this now, whenever you do get through it, uh, probably just don't care too much about the story, just have fun just doing whatever, because you can just have a lot of fun going around the world and have, doing your own thing. It's crazy how Konami did that to... Mr. Kojima, but whatever. And it's oh, even yeah. it's even more sad because assuming that you can believe this, if this is true, they um they said <laughs> if somebody was remaking PT on PC and Konami yeah. offered them a job and apparently it reinvigorated them to wanting to make console games again. There you go. Oh. Look at I beat the platinum time. I can actually believe that. Look at that. I beat the platinum time without the minus ten. I could have missed a crate or two. And that's why I think it's very easy. Now I gotta do this on the other story. Unfortunately, uh, me having actually, to do they kick you straight into the cutscene? 
No, they, they don't. Okay. I, I did this on my own time. Uh, the cutscene happens, I think, after you do the rematch. Or go for the rematch, rather. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. And I was kind of concerned about that. But then it didn't happen. And I was like, oh, okay. If you insist, game. I am Team Bandicoot, right? I, yes. I, and just, like, ruin everything, right? I don't think you would let me ruin everything. Uh, and then that should be 99%. Yep. Yep. Of course, 13 the, rounds. The last 2% so. from the rematch, I would assume. Yep. Which will be the next part, which... I know usually we discuss this off-camera, but should I do that tonight? Because it's going to be really short. I mean, you might as well, because there's a chance you're going to get, you know, who is a playable character, and mm. if their stats are as good as they claim they are, you're going to want them for training. That's true, but again, how will it, my times, like, how will that work? Oh, yeah. That's, that's my only concern. Well, I guess I gotta play through the game a second time. Alright guys, I'm leaving the channel. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Is that nice. or duplicate your memory card? I could I could duplicate my memory card. Actually, I probably should do that. That's a pretty like smart at, idea. At this point it's probably better just duplicate it and then rename it. So you don't get confused. Yep. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, because I had to restart that level, uh, the part's, like, at least six minutes longer than it should be, but... Oh well. Oh well. I I've already committed. Can't stop me now. <laughs> this is probably going to be the longest part now. May I remind you, this was his decision, not mine. It was not his decision. I'm still okay with it, though. I think the longest part so far was... So, part 7, which was 94 minutes. Yeah, an hour. So, good job making that jump first try. Thank you. So, now we have to figure out more things to talk about. Because <laughs> now we're just retreading this stage, so. Playlist. Yeah, the last part I uploaded was the longest one, right? Yeah, part 7. Why was that long again? What did I do in that part? I think that was just seeing K tokens. Oh, uh, yeah. No, that was so the cops, I think. Or, oh, yeah, that was cops. Okay, that explains why it was so long. Yeah, I was like, why was I was trying to think to myself. I'm like, why was that so long? <laughs> Actually, that still shouldn't have been that long. Was it? It was something. Yeah, no, that was the gem. Was there something else, though? Because I don't think that should have been an hour and a half. Well, it is, it is every been. track in the game. Twice. Twice. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, 40 minutes makes sense for one thing. When you consider the fact that it's every single stage twice, including hyperspace. Like... Oh, barring it. Yeah, if it was including it, it'd be 10. It'd be like an hour and 50 minutes long. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that is not excellent, Cortex. Yes. Please make another five hour video. I always confuse myself. I always think it's a six-hour video. Because it basically yeah. is. There's two videos on our channel. Both of them were by me around the same time. Red I don't like there's there's two? Yeah, there's the Echo one and there's the Jack 2 one. I think the Jack 2 one was like three hours. It's three minutes over the Echo video. Is it three hours or four hours? It's five hours still. It's a wait, wait. It's a five-hour. The Jack one's a five-hour video. Yes. Oh my god, I, I didn't remember it honestly. I thought you were talking about the the. Uh... I'm talking about the arrow race, the worst one. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about or when you mentioned that one sucks. when you mentioned there were two there were two. I thought you were talking about what's it called, um, the the crash, <laughs> the crash. uh, Sonic. Sonic Unleashed. Oh no, that's not even. Involved. That was that was the beginning of of the end. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't even consider the Unleashed one anymore. It's, uh... I do! That was like three hours still! Oh, it, yeah, it was still long, but it was... Then again, wasn't my longest video that I recorded three hours? Oh, I missed that. Yes, that was the Midoriya's Mask video. Um, no, it wasn't. That was two and a half hours. Oh. I thought it was three hours. And, uh, yeah, it was... 
Five hours, 37 minutes, 52 seconds. That don't was watch the... it. Please that... don't watch that it. That was the Jack video? Yes. Oh, the Echo video is three minutes longer than that. That one actually could have been longer. <laughs> oh, I know. Thank you, Work. I recorded that on a Tuesday and I had to... I had to go to sleep. I worked oh. mornings. I couldn't stay up all night. Back in the good old days when we recorded earlier in the day. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I would have agreed to doing Echo back then. <laughs> if we started at 8 or 9. Uh, which... What was the platinum time here? I kind of really screwed up the one missed a jump. Oh yeah, it's assembly lane 145. 145? It's still doable. Oh! Barely. I had to literally go backwards and get a jump. I wasted like five seconds. Oh, that was actually really stressful. Luckily, the next two levels aren't that bad, especially the one I'm doing next. Oh boy. I played way too much CNK today. <laughs> yeah, and the best part is once you finally done a CNK, you get to move on to Nitro Field. Oh, you're done with CNK, are you? <laughs> oh, like, I'm, I'm okay with that for the most part. Thank you, Mr. Krabs. Um, I I'm okay with that, surprisingly enough. The thing is that it's just like, I've played a lot of CNK today. Like, oh, I've, yeah. I've played like four, go buy it. four or five hours in. For a racing game, the thing is, for a racing game, if I'm doing a whole bunch of stages, that's kind of an issue for me. It's If I'm doing one stage because I'm like trying doing time trials or something completely different i think i'd be having i'd be probably talking with a friend enjoying myself or whatever do my own thing you know or i'd be so focused on something that it would make it bearable or whatever or more more fun because otherwise that would be terrible with the what's it called speed running certain games especially but actually uh, no have fun with f0 because that's on your list for some reason. You volunteered yourself to that. I didn't even help. Welcome, my son. That's gonna have my echo video. <laughs> is he finally gonna break the five hour mark? Maybe he'll break the six hour mark. The question is, would you even let me? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man, there goes anti-gravity. Hello, RNG stage. Good to see you're still are as RNG as ever. Oh, the wind in my hair. Oh, the wind in my hair. Blondes do have more fun. Yeah, sometimes I just think you want to let's play Prince Sandy all the time. We need to get you on the Insane Trilogy as soon as possible. Uh, yes! It is me, Dr. Neo Cortex. Very Winkle Cortex. I mean, that is his middle name. Ironically, his name. <laughs> you know they did it because it's too tongue in cheek. Oh, of course. It's too tongue in cheek to not do it. Especially considering the game that they said that in. It was tag team racing. Of course they were going to do it. Did tag team racing have the same riders as Twin Sandy? I feel like they did. It has the same style, but I don't know it's the same writer. It feels more to me like it's different writers trying to emulate what Jim Sandy did. Maybe. Let's go up this time? Nope. Literally, it's just always a gamble. I'm putting my dice in the, the roller and seeing what happens. Seeing the results. It'll work one day! <laughs> Makes me really glad that this stage, uh, you don't need to get, what's it called, all the boxes, all the crates in. Because otherwise, this probably would be, like, hard mode. This probably would be one of the hardest ones, just because it's based on luck. I think I did a practice run with Mayo here in the pra one of the practice runs we did. I think I got all the boxes, because I kept restarting because I thought I needed them all. And then once I beat it, we had this like epiphany because it showed us that we didn't need them all and I was like oh okay cool well, all right then I almost so jumped I, I saw that 
Clancy Brown saying yeehaw. There's something really weird about that. Yeehaw! It's more like yeehaw! I feel like he's trying to still do his, like, evil voice. But it's like... Well, I mean, that is his cortex, isn't it? Oh, the wind in my hair. It is me, Clancy Brown. The voice of Dr. Neo Cortex. I'm gonna take your advice on this one. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's one second. You're probably saving more time that way. Aw, oh, the wind in my hair. Yep. I think I even beat my old time, too. You Look at that, by like did. eight seconds. You'll be able to check. Yep, let's see. Oh yeah. I forget what I did. I did something wrong. I did everything wrong. I played this game. That was my first mistake. You wanted to 100% this game. That was your second mistake. Well, I mean, I have no choice. We're a completionist channel. And that's why Xenoblade Chronicles X will be the worst thing in the world. Like, at that point, we might as well start let's play MMOs. What's our excuse? How do we? How do what? What? What's defined as completing it? When we get literally every item in the game, we'll be there for <laughs> thousands of hours. <laughs> you think that would stop us? No. Actually, it probably would at some point because I feel like you and me would eventually be like, "Yeah, I'm bored." <laughs> Then we'd come back like a, like years later and be like, alright guys, so there's a lot of new content, we heard this game's amazing now. <laughs> well, this isn't exactly what happened, but kind of what happened to Lost Town World? Kind of, but not kind of. I, there's, I don't know how we can complete that. I was still, if we were to go back to it, it'd be still like my goal. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> Let's just say that that's like the one LPL that you're actually happy we didn't complete. That one we, I have no shame about that. That one we might actually not even ever get back to. Honestly, we tried to do it just to see if it would gain if it would gain any traction. I'm pretty sure that was. Oh the yeah, like I think we openly admitted that too. Like I was intentionally making the thumbnail look more proper. Like everything. like what you would see in most people's channels. We tried to make the title. The titles it did not work. It at didn't all. work, unfortunately. Also, we got copy guy claimed. <laughs> yeah. I think it's gone now. Actually, no, it's still there. This the thing is still there. I'm on the channel right now. I can check. I think we're like in the clear right now. You can check, yeah. Or I think maybe it's me who's in the clear. Nope, it's still there. Okay. So then maybe it's my main channel I'm thinking of that's in the clear. Oh, they're so weird. Like, what's that Ocarina of Time copyright claim? That one baffles me. Especially because that part had two different variations to it, and only one of them got claimed. Even weirder when you consider the fact that Mr. Nintendo no longer. Nintendo's not the one that claimed it. Oh, was it a symphony thing again? Yes, that was the symphony thing. Ugh. Like, I don't care. It's a video that literally got two of these. I'm not gonna put the fight over it. Yeah, that one. That one's not Nintendo Symphony, though, right? They heard Fifi Fo Fum. Like that's what they're claiming. It's clearly wrong. That's what we call false copyright claims. So people can try to take the money from our videos. Jokes yeah, on them. Go ahead. You're gonna get like a fifth of a cent. Enjoy. Yeah, you're literally getting nothing from us. Sorry. Sorry, random guys. That video has two views. Imagine being somebody trying to steal money from somebody else. It's not that hard. It's called a thief. As a matter of fact, if you really we think, just game with a thief in it. It, it's funny because because people will be like, of course, people and everybody has the right to complain about it, right? Mm -hmm. But nobody ever considers the fact they're they're being less of a thief of you and being more of a thief of whoever the fuck like they're stealing from. Oh you know yeah. I mean? Absolutely, like, they're stealing from Nintendo more than they are from... Yeah, like... Kinnegar Freestyle or whoever. Yeah. But Nintendo has changed. Nintendo has gotten substantially better. 
over the years. They're not, yeah, they're not completely there yet, but they're doing. As a matter of fact, yeah. we're in this really weird age of gaming where, like, fucking the war is over. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> Sony and Microsoft are working together and couldn't care less. They're doing whatever Literally they Literally the next Call of Duty game, which I don't care about Call of Duty, but the only thing that, that interests me about it is the fact that it's literally going to be fucking cross-platform with PC, Xbox, and PC, or and PS4, which, bad mistake making that a PC, uh, shared thing, because they get a clear advantage. Oh yeah, they get a massive advantage. Like, okay, Xbox I can maybe see, because I can know that that system has keyboard and mouse support, although at the same time, if you have that, why not just get the PC, but I digress. People who play those kind of games get have, like, modded controllers 99% of the time anyways. Excellent. Now, at first I kind of hated Clancy Brown's delivery in this game, but the more I listen to it, the more I like it. Uh, the more meme-worthy it becomes. Money! I still think the, I still think the model looks really wrong, though. Oh, the model it needed good. another couple revisions. The model debatably looks worse. No, okay, it does not look worse than the Wrath of Cortex. I think that's, like, objectively yeah. an impossible thing to do. I feel like Wrath of Cortex is cleaner, but that's like the only positive thing I can say it's about it. It's cleaner, but he looks so bad. <laughs> I know, I know. Everyone looks bad except for like Uka Uka and Aku Aku. Yeah, look, they're the only ones they got right. This is the elemental. Actually, I, th I think I'll, I'll give Crunch the cast too. I think he'll. Uh, yeah, good. Crunch actually looks really good. And then, um, I think. But then Crash! Oh boy. Crash is like, he's not like bad to me, but he's not like good either. <laughs> it's definitely his ugliest appearance pretty times mutants, because I know some people are really anti that model. Yeah, they I might hate, say that's worse. I hate hair. Hair's gross. Oh, well, you well, must have had a rude awakening. <laughs> More like a rude born awakening. As I left. Actually, even Wrath of Cortex, as we were talking about that, because did that game have the hair? Ugh. It did. I hate hair. Hair is the worst thing in the entire world. That's why if I see any hair on my body, I destroy it. He doesn't shave it. He doesn't pluck it. He destroys it. He I... grabs a torch and burns it. No, 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 no. I don't do that. I destroy it with my mind. Psychonaut. Guys, he's a psychonaut! I don't know what you're talking about. Get him, Major Crawler! Cheating. He's on to us! Hold on, you need to get the bacon. It's important. You know, the sad thing is, like, if anyone's seeing still watching this video up to this point, they're probably not gonna get the joke because they didn't play psychonauts. You lost my game. Seriously. I'm mean, not saying my milk is delicious. I'm the milk. My milk is delicious. Oh, shall we? Woohoo! Yee hee! Almost missed that. I saw that. That was a little scary. Did you just say Will Smith? Will Smith! Please. Boing, 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 boing. You know, I, I said this soundtrack is like whatever, it's kind of background noise. This is like the only song I know, and I don't know if that's for good or bad reasons. I can remember that from here too. There's a few songs in this game that I can't. Namely, the main theme, obviously. AK, but... the greatest theme song in the history of the universe. I'm pretty sure that like 70 80% of the budget for the soundtrack of this game went to the theme song. Oh, man. <laughs> So went straight to the theme song. But I mean, if you're gonna pick any song, right? Crash Nitro Card! Like, that is still like one of my biggest fears for Nitro Field. Like, you know for a fact they're gonna use 
theme is dead. You can't get rid of the theme. It's, you can't. If you do it, I am returning the game and I'm also going to sue you. I mean, you can return the game, so good luck suing. Imagine one day I say that and then one day you look out, you're like, hmm, I'm wondering what's going on in the gaming world today. Idiot sues Activision for not including <laughs> Crash Nitro. Iconic music. Iconic Crash Nitro card music. Like, That's when you message me and I'm and I'm just like. I would just be like, hello, idiot. <laughs> I'm just like, what? What did I do? I'm currently in court right now. <laughs> Wait, did you even get a lawyer? I am my lawyer. <laughs> Oh, of course. <laughs> really, we should have pushed the uh, East turning up the Let's Play table a little bit. Objection! <laughs> you know, basically, all you learned from Ace Turning anyway, that game is clearly the most accurate of legal simulator. I'll, I'll have you know, I uh, I would like message you and be like, I'll have you know, I told them my story about how I defended a, a murderer and got him off trial, despite the fact he murdered people, definitely. I still don't understand the full context to it, but god damn it. I just know it's in the game. I've learned a lot from my zero experience of playing. I hope you're proud of me, Mayo. <laughs> also, I, I you put you in my testimony. <laughs> oh gee, thanks. <laughs> that usually means I have to testify too. <laughs> you would go up there and be like, Honestly, I don't know why this man got me up here. He's, he's really dumb because literally he's doing everything wrong. <laughs> like, you didn't even come in with a suit. Come on. You would, you would come in with, like, a mayonnaise jar and they'd be very confused. and would be like, yeah, I'm literally gonna be as serious as I can while being not serious because this guy is actually just dumb. Yeah, I know him, but he's he's not gonna win, and I'm just telling you right now that while I'm disappointed that the theme isn't in the game, I, that you legally probably cannot sue <laughs> under these rights. <laughs> and I'm on Activision's side. Sorry, Yogi. <laughs> I think the, the prosecutor would start, start crying at that point. <laughs> no, thank you! <laughs> That'd be so funny. But literally, I, I've never played Ace Attorney, but a part of me feels like that sounds like a case that you would see there. Actually, that would be one of the Tamer cases. That would be one of the what? Tamer? tamer oh cases. god. <laughs> they get nuts. Jeez. <laughs> like, the first case is usually pretty tame, and then it's gonna miss up if it's tame or absolutely bonkers. The, the, first, the first one, they try, they, try to, they try to be like, yeah, They try you to know. trick you to think it's gonna be normal. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, this is definitely the, uh, it's a visual novel, but it's definitely a true crime simulator. Definitely. Meanwhile, same case, I'm not going to say it, because it's, oh boy, it's, <laughs> yeah, reality goes right out the window. Maybe I should watch the anime, will that, pre will that prepare me? Mm. It would spoil 99% of the game, it's, oh, never mind then. Because we're talking, a, we're talking a visual novel here, this doesn't have much in terms of gameplay. I screwed up really hard on this race because of that one, like, the shortcut screw up, but I'm glad that I still- Yeah, it doesn't even me. matter. Alright, we got every single relic. Um, the hard stuff is soon to begin. <laughs> Not next part. Part after. The part after. Whee! So, thank you all for watching, everyone. Um, Hope you enjoyed our currently and probably definitively longest part of Crash Nitro Kart. Yep, though it's probably not. It's not. It's just four minutes longer, so it could be worse. Yeah, it's not by much. Yep, and it's all because I screwed up on the first uh, attempt. So yeah, we'll see you guys next time where we beat Vilos Milos, and it's gonna be our followed by our shortest part probably of the LP. Of course. <laughs> so see you guys next time on our rematch of Vilo. Goodbye. Goodbye.